Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today for a very special and exciting Princess Cruises webinar. My name is Anna. I'm an Industry Relations Manager here at CLIA, and I'm going to just quickly go through some housekeeping before introducing our presenter. This webinar will run about 40 minutes with time for questions at the end. Please feel free to type your questions into the questions module of the webinar, and we'll get to them at the conclusion of the presentation. This webinar is being recorded and will be posted on CLIA's YouTube channel, which is CLIA Global. And with that, it is my pleasure to introduce our presenter, John Chernesky. John serves as Senior Vice President, North America Sales and Trade Marketing for Princess Cruises and Cunard Line. He has been with Princess for 28 years and leads a team of professionals providing business development and strategic sales support to travel advisors. And with that, take it away, John. Thank you, Anna. Thanks everybody for joining in today. Appreciate you being here. Um, maybe you watched the inauguration this morning. Maybe you're busy booking some cruises for hopefully later 2021 or into 2022, but I appreciate your time and it's my pleasure to talk with you today. I love this picture and uh, I don't know about you, but man, I wish I was there and sailing the seven seas again and getting out there and seeing the world. But uh, yeah, we're certainly going through a challenging time, but we're going to talk a little bit about that, a little bit about some of the future of Princess and hopefully uh, you'll find it mildly entertaining. Uh, so with that, I always like to say it's best to keep calm and call the travel advisor. You can see I'm wearing my keep calm t-shirt and no, they're not for sale. Uh, I'm sorry, I do get that question a lot, but hopefully when we get back to normal, we'll figure out a way to distribute some of these. Uh, you may not have realized this, but we just passed through the holidays. So here's me and my lovely family. This picture was actually taken uh, a year ago, a year and a month ago now on the beautiful Sky Princess where we celebrated our Christmas cruise with my family. Uh, and so we had a wonderful time, but I figured this is now a year old. And so I thought I'd update it and show a more recent picture of our Christmas at home in our backyard um, with my wife, Christy, and our sons, John and Michael, and my favorite son, uh, Murphy. So yes, we did the whole coordinated PJs thing, thinking that was a good idea. And did wanna say happy new year to everybody to 2021. Uh, when we flipped the clock and went into 2021 miraculously, everything wasn't cured or healed or fixed, but we will get through it and do want everybody to stay uh, as positive as possible. Now, uh, I wanted to share that uh, about a week or so ago, we made another announcement of pausing our operations through the middle of May. Hopefully you've read about that or are at least aware of it. Um, clearly not uh, what we were hoping to do, but in reality, and I wanted to get some context uh, for what this means. It was not because we feel like this year isn't going to happen or this is just, just like 2020, we're gonna keep doing this every month or two, a pause. It's really because of the extensive work required for us to come back online, come back and return to service, and the uh, work that's required under the uh, CDC's guidance and their conditional sale order is extensive and unlike anything we've ever had to do before. And the logistics involved, getting the crew onto the ships, getting them trained, going through all the protocols, get, making sure, because when we return to service, we wanna make sure it is perfect and there are no hiccups. And so we're really being cautious about this and you're seeing other brands uh, make similar announcements. And so we've made this through the middle of May, but our intention absolutely uh, is to have a summer season up in Alaska, in Europe, doing some Caribbean cruising. So I just want you to make sure you're aware of that. Here were the ships that were affected by that pause. And the uh, it's not that many cruises in comparison to some of the pauses we've done in the past, but still it's affected people's vacation plans and we know they and you are disappointed. Um, now, when I got this news, this was my reaction. This was kind of what I looked like. Uh, here at my desk, I uh, had a different wig on that day. It was frustration, but I do uh, honestly feel optimistic for this year and I want you all to stay as positive as possible because that positivity is contagious and your clients can kind of feed off of that. And I love this saying uh, that one of my BDMs, uh, Wade up in Vancouver shared with me, this too shall pass, it might pass. I feel like it's already passed like a couple kidney stones, uh, but anyway, it will pass. Now, if you had clients that were part of that pause and were affected, we are continuing our same policies in terms of giving bonus FCC offers for those that keep the FCC and try and rebook. Uh, they can get a refund if they want, but those details were communicated directly to, uh, we actually send the notice directly to travel advisors first, so you know about it before your clients do, and then you have 24 hours to tell them and make sure you work through the plans. Um, and hopefully that is appreciated because I think that's really important that you're the ones that can work with them to plan for their next trip. And hopefully that's what they are planning because uh, I, I share this often, but I really think it's important to remember that we all need something to look forward to. We need a trip on the horizon. And whether it's later in 2021 or even 2022, where we're seeing really strong interest, 
Uh, research has validated my own personal beliefs that you actually derive more happiness, most of the happiness you get out of a trip, actually anticipating it or looking forward to it. And the reasons are many. I like to say it's because you don't often fall asleep at night thinking about a trip and imagining your luggage getting lost or it raining all day in Juneau and your, your, your helicopter trip was canceled. You don't dream those kind of things. You think about all the positives that you're going to get out of it. And uh, that's, that's why I think you get that jolt of happiness every time you think about that trip. So get something on the books. Get your clients to book something. Uh, it's very important. Now at Princess, we've launched uh, a program. Well, we've had a program called Cruise with Confidence out for a while. So that's, that's not new. Uh, but what's new is we've made some enhancements to it, and I wanted to just walk you through uh, what those are because I think it's an important way to give confidence to you and your clients that if you take a, if you make a booking with Princess, you're going to be protected uh, across all facets of it. So first up, uh, we have uh, the book with confidence, and what that does, uh, we've had this going for a while, but we basically extended it so that you now uh, you you still have 30 days prior, up to 30 days prior to cancel your cruise for any reason and get your cancellation fees back as part of a future cruise credit. So you have up to 30 days and then you have up to a year to use those FCCs as we call them. And so um, you this applies for any bookings made um, from now until March 2nd and it cruising up through October 31 of this year. So if your clients are thinking, well, I wanna book this summer, but I'm not sure what Prince is gonna do, um, you already know the final payment windows and all that, so you can manage that. Very little skin in the game, but they do have that extra comfort knowing that there's 30 days prior to make any changes if for whatever reason uh, they need to. Um, now, I like to say that the crew on board our ship uh, are the reason that we are so successful. And the program I'm about to talk about here is that middle program was called Princess Promise. And really the crew does an amazing job of delivering great service on board. People feel warm and welcome, like you're stepping into someone's home when you go on a princess ship. And I, I like to, that's one thing to say it, but you have to back it up with some stats. And I love sharing this information, which is the number of people that are in our Captain Circle program who qualify as elite level guests. These are people who have taken 16 or more cruises with us. And back in 2004, we had just under 12,000 elite guests. And this year, we're expecting to have 160,000. And I like to say that you don't usually go back to any product or service or experience that you didn't enjoy the first time. Very rarely do you leave a restaurant and say, God, that was the worst meal I've ever had. I can't wait to go back there. Um, you typically go back where you're given great service. And that's what our crew is all about. Nonetheless, the Princess Promise is really formalizing a program so that when your clients are on board or you're on board experiencing a vacation, and let's say you have a bad experience that's a one-off, like you have, uh, I don't know, the steak in the Crown Grill wasn't cooked to your liking or something happened that was a moment that wasn't a great experience for you. We don't want you or your clients stewing about that for the rest of your trip and writing us an email when they come home and worrying about it, you know, getting it resolved two months later. We want to fix it right then and there. So we're empowering the crew with the Princess Promise program, which really allows them to make it right on board and make sure that we're going to refund you the value of that service if that's what it takes, but they're going to do everything in their power to make sure you can get that resolved and move on, enjoy the rest of your vacation. And we'll make sure that this is a seamless program consistent across all of our ships. And that's really the goal of this program. So even though we deliver great service today, we want to make sure it's even better when we come back uh, online. Now, the Princess Vacation Protection, people call this travel insurance. It's not technically an insurance. It's a protection program. And we've always had this program out there. And you may sell this or other programs, but I want to explain the enhancements we've made to it. Now, as part of any uh, Princess Vacation Protection or PVP, because we like the acronym everything here, um, you're going to get reimbursed cancellation fees, you get luggage coverage if it gets lost, a trip delay reimbursement, medical expense coverage, and you have access to 24-7 assistance. Now, that's all still there. But what we're doing is we're increasing the coverage for trip interruptions uh, from 100% of the vacation costs up to 150%, including COVID-19. And so not every policy out there covers COVID, and ours does. We want to make sure that that enhancement is clear to all of you. And I, sh I should have said at the beginning, the re one of the reasons why we've introduced these enhancements is that a lot of our research has shown that people believe that increased travel protection or travel insurance um, is really going to help them feel more comfortable when they do sail. And I would say anybody that's taking a trip uh, in 2021 or 22 or beyond without some sort of protection uh, really should think twice about that because it is really important to have it, especially in uh, today's world. So we've got that increase in the coverage. We also have an uh, increase in coverage for any sort of emergency evacuation. So we've increased those by $25,000 for the standard plan, which now covers up to $50,000 in cost 
and the platinum plan up to $75,000 in cost. Now, trust me, you do not want to be in a faraway place and need an emergency evacuation because that is not cheap. And so that's what that provides coverage for. Now, what's so great about this new program, there's no age restrictions and, and you don't pay any more depending on what your age is, meaning you could be any age and you're going to get coverage. And whether you're 18 or 80, you pay the same price. And all these enhancements have been delivered and we're actually not increasing the price we are charging. So I think these are pretty great. Check it out. We've actually created a customizable flyer that you can download at onesourcecruises.com. Uh, so you can send it to your clients, put your information in the bottom there. You can update it and personalize it to you. And hopefully that gives your clients a little more confidence that they can, in fact, uh, make a booking. Now at Princess, we are working through very rigorous uh, enhanced health and safety standards. Um, you know, a lot of people think of cruising as um, either you, you hear all sorts of derogatory statements about cruising. Oh, it's a Petri dish, and this is where norovirus breaks out. That's the only place you're going to get norovirus. Actually, my good friend at CLIA, Charlie Sylvia, hopefully you all know Charlie, he was the one who gave me the information that you, everybody thinks of cruises as the place you're going to get sick. Unfortunately, that's, well, unfortunately for us, that is entirely wrong, and we kind of get painted um, in an unfair light because the reality is we are very transparent in everything that happens on our ships. There's only three organizations that have to report uh, to the CDC any sort of medical issues or health uh, problems, and that are uh, hospitals, uh, nursing care facilities, and cruise ships. Nobody else has to, and so that's one of the reasons why you, you have all this information about us, because we are so transparent. You are 750 times more likely, this is the fact Charlie gave me, to get norovirus shoreside than you are on a ship. So just a little uh, tip for you there that people have a misperception um, about cruising. Now, these six um, bullets you see here, these six core features of our health and safety standards, you're going to see this consistent across the industry. We are not separating ourselves, one brand safer or healthier than another. That's not how we operate. And we are working on what the return to service guidelines are going to be. I get a lot of questions about what about the buffets, what about dining, and that's all stuff we are coming out with based on the CDC guidance and the expert recommendations of the healthy sale panel and all of the guidance that the CDC is now formulated in their conditional sale order. So just know we are working on that. And much like Cruise with Confidence, your clients should know that when they do step on board a cruise ship, I would argue it's going to be the safest place you can go. Now, why do we cruise? And I like putting this, this presentation together because it allowed me to look back on some of the history of cruising and the motivation for why would you ever want to step foot on a ship? Well, there's a lot of reasons. And I love some of these classic photos that really uh, harken back to an older day of uh, at the top right there, that picture where they just made a pool out of canvas, I think is hilarious. Uh, but there's a lot of imagery that people think of with cruising. I love this because these are some funny photos um, that were taken on board, whether it's a belly flop contest or the, honey, pack your fat pants, we're going on a cruise because obviously you tend to eat a little more on a cruise than you do at home. But at Princess, we like to say it's because you want to go together. And that's really what it's all about. It's about connection. It's about connecting with the people you love. It's about connecting with destinations, either new destinations or places you just love to go back to, and new people. Research has shown that one of the great things about a cruise is that you actually get to meet new, interesting folks, possibly from a different country. And that social um, connection is really important for people and why they rate it higher than, let's say, doing a staycation. Um, I've been very fortunate in my years, and I heard some pictures because I know you just all wanted to see my photo album. So here's pictures of me and my family when we went to Alaska to celebrate my mom's 70th birthday. Yes, I did take the picture of that eagle swooping down to catch a fish out of the waters and catch a can. Uh, the sled dogs was amazing. All the experiences we had there was truly amazing. Uh, one of the first cruises I did with my boys back when they were actually young and cute, they're 14 now, so they're not so young and cute anymore, uh, was to go to Hawaii, uh, which is my birthplace. Loved going back there and uh, see some amazing sights with them. In the bottom there, yes, that is the tale of the a humpback whale as the tail was fluking with the sapphire princess in the background uh, in front of Maui. So pretty lucky picture there. California coast cruising uh, we've done with my family. A lot of pictures here up in San Francisco uh, visiting Alcatraz. I should have left my boys in that prison cell, but they wouldn't allow me. Uh, going to the Caribbean. This was an Eastern Caribbean. Uh, no, actually, sorry, this is Southern Caribbean. Uh, I apologize. This was pictures, a lot of GoPro shots here taken uh, snorkeling in uh, Bonaire. Uh, some whitewater rafting in um, uh, Granada, and then also doing some uh, off-roading in Curious. A wonderful time, wonderful experience uh, that my, my family had. I mentioned Alaska already. Sorry, I'm not, I don't mean to show that again. And Japan. We went to Japan in 2019. Uh, had a wonderful time. One of my favorite countries on earth. And to be able to cruise there, it's a really convenient and affordable way to get around and see the country. I mentioned my trip 
uh, on the Sky Princess last Christmas in 2020, sorry, 2019. And here's some pictures. And in the top right, you can see me and my pet sloth. Uh, and they would not let me bring that on the plane, so I had to leave it there. Yeah, I, I show all these pictures, um, not to brag. Um, it's really just to say, yes, I am spoiled. But the connections that I've had with my family doing those uh, trips and doing those experiences was just amazing. And I will always uh, remember them. And so I just wanted to remind us all why we're doing what we do. And thank you to all of you who are working with your clients and keeping them calm as we navigate these turbulent waters. At Princess, we have, hopefully you know, what's called Princess Medallion Class. And so this is a very unique uh, upgrade, I would say, to an already great experience. And through amazing technology, it's about giving uh, an amazing enhanced experience to guests. But rather than listen to me, I wanted to share this quote with a gentleman who has helped create this. His name is John Paget, and he is our Chief Experience and Innovation Officer for the corporation. And he is nonstop, 24 seven focused on this uh, experience with we introduced a few years ago. And he, he says it best, he says, vacations are the ideal space to optimize your time, our scarcest resource. Every minute you wait in a line or are otherwise inconvenienced is a minute you can't enjoy elsewhere. Given that many of us spend months planning for vacations, we want the best experience imaginable while we're off the clock. And that's really what Medallion Class is all about. So if you haven't personally experienced it, just know that it's amazing technology that's really about giving you more time back to enjoy your vacation through enhanced personalized service. Now there are six key elements of Medallion Class. You board the ship faster. And I'm gonna spin through this quickly because I assume you all are experts on Medallion Class. You get on the ship faster, you walk up to your stateroom door and it opens automatically because it knows you are because you have a medallion. And at first I thought, how, how lame is that? Who cares? The door opens. Trust me, once you do it, it is a game changer because you feel special. Every time you come to your door, it unlocks because, man, you are the king of your castle or the queen of your castle, and you get to be an, admitted into the room. It's pretty cool. You get to find your way around the ship using either your phone with an app or the portal screens that we have out in the public areas. And you can also find people in your travel party. So I can always know where my kids are. Little hot tip. If you're the husband, let's say, and you don't want your wife to find you, hypothetically, you can turn off that feature because as an adult, you can decide if you want to be uh, found. If not, then you know, leave it on. If so, if you want to be found, then leave it on. If not, turn it off. Kids cannot choose that. They will always be locatable. Uh, then you have playing on the on apps. You can do free games. You can even gamble in the casino without stepping foot in the casino. So you can play slots uh, or blackjack in uh, your stateroom on the comfort of your balcony overlooking the ocean. Best Wi-Fi at sea with Medallion Net, it is blazing fast. I'm talking to FaceTiming friends and family back home, streaming Netflix, it is that fast. And what you want delivered wherever you are, imagine anything you can you could have delivered on board and it will come to you. And that convenience is, means you don't have to get out of your lounge chair, you don't have to wait in line, you don't have to congregate with other people because physical distancing is going to be a real thing when we come back on board. And so this will help you have things brought to you rather than you going to them. As a lazy person, I love that. Okay, those are all great foundations, but does it work? And our experience showed that on the ships that had medallion class, uh, because we had to introduce this uh, you know, very slowly on each of the ships, they saw a double digit increase in the net promoter score after they had medallion class added versus before. And so net promoter score is the ultimate measure of success. Would you recommend this product or service to your friends or family? And that higher rating shows it all that Medallion class does indeed work, but but wait, there's more. The Medallion class team under John's leadership um, has really come out, I think, with some new features that we're so excited to talk about. These are in the enhanced features, taking it to another level. The embarkation we're calling truly touchless embarkation because we're going to try and minimize every touch point because we know as we're dealing with the virus, we want to make sure that we're as safe as possible. And we're going to be staggering arrival times. So we're going to be managing that very carefully because we can't have everybody congregating in the terminal like before. The passenger safety drill or the muster drill. No more do you have to go to the lounge and sit and wait there uh, and listen to a speech and, and get out of there 45 minutes later. You get on the ship, you watch the video on your phone or you go into your stateroom and watch it on the stateroom TV. Everybody in your travel party watches the video. You then go to your muster station. So let's say it's the Explorer's Lounge. You go there and with your medallion, they'll check you in quickly and 30 seconds later, you're out of there, you're done. That is the new passenger safety drill. Health questionnaires are gonna be done using the app. So rather than filling out that form and touching a pen that somebody else has touched, you're not gonna be doing that. And if you're not feeling well while on the ship, you can actually use the app to say, hey, I need some help. Or you could obviously call us, but if you wanna use the app, you can do that. Touchless payments has always been a great part, but there's some new features coming that I can't share today, but just know it's gonna be even further enhanced. 
And I think this is so cool, real-time visibility to know where are people or where, more importantly, aren't they. So if you want to go have a drink before dinner and you want to go to the crooner's bar, but you can go and check and see, wow, it's pretty crowded. Let's not go there. Let's go somewhere else. You can go to Wheelhouse Bar. Um, that will allow you to do that. And so those features we think are really going to make the service experience even more enhanced on board when we return to service. And thankfully, it's pretty consistent because we're going to be ensuring that all of the ships when we return to service will have medallion class. We already have six ships up and running, but there are more ships coming and super excited that this will now be a consistent uh, delivery of the service experience on all Princess ships, much like the Princess Promise and Cruise with Confidence is on every ship, so is medallion class, and we're super thankful. Now, Princess is the, let's talk about Alaska, one of my favorite destinations. Uh, Princess is the number one cruise line in Alaska. Now, I don't say that just because I like saying it, and it's not true. I say it because we carry more guests there than anybody else. We've won the Travel Weekly Award for Best in Alaska 13 times in a row. And we are the number one, record brand, number one recommended brand by travel advisors based on an internal survey that's done every year by our friends at Gallup. So we've won that 19 straight years. But actually, there is some relatively breaking news, and my friend Ron Burgundy is going to be here to help introduce this. Uh, Princess actually was just awarded the number one brand again by the Travel Weekly Reader's Choice Award. So that's now 14 years in a row. Um, but so if you're counting, out of these 18 past years, we've won it 17 out of 18 years. I'm not sure happened, what happened with that one year. I think there was a glitch in the, in the voting. But anyway, we'll take it. 14 years in a row for Travel Weekly. And their sister uh, publication, Travel Age West, introduced the Alaska Award for the first time in 2019. And we won that then, and we won it just now in 2020. And so very thrilled to have those accolades for Alaska. Now, Princess, we've been going to Alaska for over 50 years. Uh, we've got some amazing cruises and cruise tours. And that medallion class experience is going to make Alaska uh, even better. But we never rest on our laurels. It's always about trying to make the experience even better. Uh, we've got some great partnerships and onboard programs. I like to say at Princess, we are the destination leader because our goal is to try and bring the destination onto the ship as soon as possible to make you feel like you're, when you go to Alaska, you feel like you're in Alaska the entire experience, not just when you walk off uh, the ship. And thanks to our partnership with the great folks at Discovery and Animal Planet, we've got some special exclusive shore excursions that are, you know, capitalizing on their relationships and their partnerships. And just some, I think it's a great, the best place ever to go with all ages. So that multi-generational trip because of all that there is to see and do. Now there's three ways that you can take a trip to Alaska with Princess. You can see Alaska by going on a round trip cruise called the Inside Passage Trip. You can see a little more of Alaska doing the one way Voyage of the Glaciers cruise, or you can see it all uh, on a cruise tour. So I wanna walk you through uh, the kind of the differences between those three options. So the Voyage of the Glaciers, that's the one where you're kind of seeing more. You do a seven day trip between Vancouver and Whittier, which is near Anchorage, or you can do it the other way. You can, you can go um, from Anchorage or from Whittier, sorry, down to Vancouver. You get two glacier viewing experiences on every trip, always Glacier Bay and then either Hubbard Glacier or College Fjord. I'm going to talk about Glacier Bay in a second, but trust me, if you're going to Alaska and you're not seeing Glacier Bay, I would say you need to think twice about that because it is really, um, you, you can't miss Glacier Bay when you go to Alaska. Uh, you're going to get to see more of the inside passage. Uh, and let me show you on a map what I mean by that, because in the blue, hopefully you can see the blue there. This is the round trip. We're doing a sample out of Seattle, sample trip out of Seattle. You leave, you go to Ketchikan, you go to Juneau, you go to Skagway, go to Glacier Bay, and you come back to Seattle. And it's a great trip, awesome trip. But if you do the voyage of the glaciers, you start in Vancouver, you go to the same places, Ketchikan, Juneau, Skagway, and Glacier Bay, plus then you get uh, either Hubbard uh, or College Fjord, and then you end in Whittier. And this is the gateway to then go on a cruise tour. But even if you don't have the time or the money to do a cruise tour, you have seen more of Alaska, and I think it is definitely worth it. Now, I mentioned Glacier Bay. Here's some pictures when we were there and my boys, man, they were so young and cute back then. Uh, here we are in front of Marjorie Glacier, uh, which is the one of the most iconic glaciers uh, at Glacier Bay and quite an amazing day. We actually had a beautiful sunny day, it was awesome. You can see the glacier calving on the left, kind of the before and the after as the ice crumbled into the ocean. It was super cool. Um, the ice that you're seeing on the waterfront uh, there, when it first fell on the mountain to when it reaches the front of the uh, water, took 300 years to get there. Little uh, fun fact for you. So uh, it's pretty old ice. I mentioned the onboard experiences. We actually put them into a program called North to Alaska. And again, it's about bringing everything on board as much as we can. The food, entertainment, speakers, um, enrichment activities, background music, everything we is all about making you feel like you're in Alaska. In the top left there, 
this is a trip or an experience we do in Ketchikan, which is famous for the lumberjacks. And there's a great lumberjack demonstration right by the pier. We actually bring the lumberjacks on board. So we got that dream boat lumberjack there telling the guest how to, for some reason, our safety department approved putting an ax in the hands of our guests, but it's very safe, it's very controlled, uh, and it's a really cool experience for throwing an ax. That's something they've done. I've done it, and it's super, super cool. Loved it. Um, one of the other things we do uh, in Skagway is we have puppies in the piazza. And who doesn't love puppies? These are sled dog puppies, and you want to talk about energy. These dogs are incredible. And if you're not going to do a sled dog tour when you're there, which I recommend, but if you can't do it, um, we actually bring the puppies into the piazza and guests get to interact with them, take some pictures. It's done in a very safe and controlled environment. And so, again, you'll get a chance to see these amazing puppies. Now, we'll talk about cruise tours. Uh, this is a picture of the highest mountain in North America. It's called Denali, and it is very high, uh, like I said, and it is a, a sight to see. You have to see it to believe it. A picture doesn't do it justice. This picture, by the way, was actually sent to me by a travel advisor who was on the Tundra Wilderness Tour, and it's one of my favorite pictures. But let's explain for those that might need a little um, help, because maybe you're new to the industry or need a good reminder about what is a cruise tour. So it is a combination of three things. You got the cruise, so like I mentioned, you got the seven-day cruise, three ports of call, plus Glacier Bay, and a second glacier viewing experience at either Hubbard or College Fjord. Then you get on a train. It's a 500-mile journey from the coastline up into the interior, into the heart of Alaska, and it's all done in the same day. No additional, you know, planes, trains, automobiles, overnights anywhere. You get to your lodge same day. And every cruise tour gets to visit Denali National Park. You're going to stay at one of our lodges. Uh, and most guests, I, I says all here, but it's like 98% of all cruise tours end up staying at the Denali Princess Wilderness Lodge. But we have more than one lodge. We actually own and operate five different wilderness lodges throughout the interior of Alaska. You've got Denali, like I mentioned. And notice um, the McKinley picture won't really show it, but every one of the five lodges is actually situated right on a beautiful river. So Denali Lodge there, but actually you, you cannot see the mountain from the lodge in Denali. So we actually built the Mount McKinley Wilderness Lodge uh, about 25 or 30 years ago, just because we wanted to afford a view of the mountain from the lodge. And that's where I've been to Mount McKinley. It's a spectacular view. Uh, assuming the clouds part and you can see the mountain, it is stunning. We've also got Copper River and Kenai Lodges. They're smaller, more boutique wilderness lodges for people that want to do a little more isolated trips and, and quieter trips and some great um, fishing and, and water activities and hiking. And then Fairbanks, uh, which is close to the airport and a lot of people will stay there on their way or coming to or from their their uh, cruise tour. Now, I mentioned the train experience and at Princess we have an exclusive direct to the wilderness experience. That means that ship you see there, which is uh, on the, along the pier in Whittier, you get off the ship and you walk across the parking lot and get on the train. Now your luggage is tagged and it goes all the way through. You don't have to deal with your luggage, it goes all the way through to your wilderness lodge. And that trip journey, that convenience of just walking onto the train and starting your journey is really incredible. And it's a beautiful train. We own and operate the train, uh, the glass domes, you got some uh, viewing areas outside, and it is something to see. And I highly recommend just that train experience. I'm not typically a train guy, but something about being on a train makes you feel um, kind of old timey, like you're going back in time. It's really cool. Now, African safaris have their big five of the animals you want to see so does Denali. And so make sure you bring a good camera if you've got one, binoculars. Uh, and the top left, I think that's a squirrel. No, nope, no, it's got antlers. That is a moose. It is a big moose. You've also got the brown bear. Uh, the grizzly bear actually is one species of the brown bear. Uh, there's many of them, but it's one of the largest. And then you've got in the bottom left there, you've got the wolf. Bottom middle is not a bighorn sheep. It's called a doll's sheep. Uh, I assume the guy who discovered it or the woman who discovered it, his last name was Dahl. And then in the bottom right, you've got caribou. So those are the big five that you can hope to see. Now, any cruise, especially one to Alaska and any cruise tour, you want to make sure you're working with your clients to plan their trip. And I, and I know some people aren't planners, but I really hate to see people walk off the ship, let's say in Juneau, and say, okay, honey, what are we going to do today? If you haven't planned your activities and maximized every moment, uh, that you're in port, I really feel like you're missing out because the most popular uh, tours are going to sell out and you want to make sure you give your chance um, you know, to see what you want to see when you're there. And uh, the same thing applies for cruise tours. When you go to the lodges, there's so much fun and activity to do. I would highly recommend you think, work with your clients, plan ahead, make sure that they are thinking about what they want to do before they wake up that morning.
Now, a lot of people say, John, Alaska sounds great. Uh, when is the best time to go? And, you know, I've been fortunate to visit Alaska many times, mostly on business trips. Uh, I've only done the one family cruise there. And I would say that I've actually been to Alaska in each of the months that it's open, May through September. Um, and I've enjoyed it every time. But there are some unique differences that typically you could expect in Alaska. So let's walk through those real quick. So in May and June, from a weather standpoint, it's actually less rainy. It's these are the drier months. Um, July and August tend to be kind of the peak times because of kids' vacations. Um, but and they're great. It's not to say it's gonna, be, but you never know. It could rain rain the whole week, or it could be sunny the whole week. You just never know. August and September, as the leaves start to change uh, color, it's kind of cool because you kind of have that change of season. Then from a, a daylight standpoint, June and July are the maximum time where you're gonna see the sun out until midnight. It is kind of weird. Uh, it's super cool, and then you realize, oh my God, it's 11:30. I need to go to bed. Um, in September, you may see the northern lights. The farther north you go. Um, the more likely you are to see the northern lights. It's definitely not guaranteed and is very rare, but later in the season is best. The whales are always out, but there are some peak times, especially in July, uh, where you're going to see uh, the humpback and the orca. I was there in September on a business trip, early part of September, because uh, it usually closes around mid-September, and we did a, an evening whale watching trip, and I said to the boat captain, I said, I really want to see killer whale, the orcas. I've never seen them in the wild, and the captain said, no chance. They left weeks ago. You'll be lucky if you see humpbacks today. Not only did we see the humpbacks, bubble net feeding, but we also came across a pod of killer whales. So even the experts, the local experts, can't predict what's going to happen. You never know. The bears are usually out all season, but in May and June, they're still coming out of hibernation. They're a little more active because they are hungry. Fishing every month, but in June and July, those are the peak times. If you got your clients are very specifically trying to catch a certain fish, Make sure you work with them to get their license ahead of time and or work through us to go on the tour that will take care of that for them. And then pricing wise, usually the shoulders, the May and September, a little more deals to be found because it's not as popular as June, July, August when kids are off on uh, vacation. Hopefully that is information you find uh, uh, helpful, but I think it's, it's great to share and our Alaska team helped put that together. So thank you. Now I mentioned the Northern Lights. It's rare. You gotta be far North, usually in September. This was taken, this photograph was taken in May uh, in Ketchikan, which is very far south relative to the trip that we take by the captain on the Star Princess a year or two years ago now almost. And uh, they, it was midnight and they were sailing out of Ketchikan, saw the Northern Lights, woke the ship up and said, hey, I'm sorry to scare you, but if you're not out on deck already, bundle up and come on out because the Northern Lights have, uh, have, have come out. And so for people to have that experience, that's the beauty of a cruise. You never know what you're going to get. So stay flexible, have some fun and can't wait to get back out there for sure. Now, I've got some news to share because uh, I just want to make sure you're aware of some uh, stuff that's just either just announced or is about to be announced. I'm giving you kind of a heads up. We announced that new for 2021, we're actually doing summer cruises out of, uh, for those on the West Coast or have clients on the West Coast um, that want to do a Mexico or a California coast trip. We're doing some great cruises out of LA. We've got four, five, and seven day options uh, that you can check out. And so want to make sure you're aware of that. Also very excited that we're gonna have some new ships coming to the West Coast. The Majestic Princess, which has been based in Australia and Asia for a little while, um, she's gonna be coming here in the fall of this year. And then Discovery Princess, um, our newest ship's gonna be coming in 2022. So more to come there on when those ship, when the Discovery is gonna be delivered. Um, but we are very excited. And these are sister ships. So it started with the Royal, then the Regal, um, then the Majestic, then the Sky and then Discovery, and then Enchanted as well. So we've got all great um, uh, ships within that class. And this has not been even announced yet, but we are gonna be, I think it comes out tomorrow, we're gonna be putting Regal Princess Sailings to the Caribbean on sale. And you've got 14 of these trips for, uh, available from the fall of 21 into spring of next year into 2022. You've got four day Eastern getaway trips, five day Eastern Caribbean getaways as well, um, with private island calls and Grand Turk, and then five days. So these are some shorter options for your clients that may want to have a little less time out there. So just want you to know that is about to come out and uh, you heard it here first. Now, I love this meme because it says, when are you going to stop sitting on that fence? I don't know, I haven't decided yet. Uh, that's why I'm probably sitting on a fence. We realize that some people are anxious about 2021 cruises. Maybe they've been booked from last year and had their trip canceled and you've rebooked them eight times. Unfortunately, that's a reality we're in. So maybe your clients are thinking, I'm not going to look book anything now. Well, hopefully you remember that, that slide I showed about anticipation. And I think that's why we're seeing such strong interest in 2022 cruising. And so hopefully you can talk to your clients 
If that's when they want to cruise, then obviously hopefully you can take care of them. But we've got options for Europe, summer Caribbean cruises, and Canada and New England uh, in 2022 to take advantage of. We've got our full year published for 2022, um, so please take advantage of that. We've got Alaska, of course, for the summer, and Japan, again, one of my absolute favorite uh, places. Now, right now in market, and depending on when you're watching this, I'll give you the dates, but right now we have the best sale ever. Now, you remember we introduced best sale ever in December of 2019, and we kept that going through the wave season, and then we converted that into what we call Princess Plus, and that is um, always available, and that is um, something that is not even a promotion. It's a fair code. It's always there. Princess Plus inclu includes drinks, your Wi-Fi and gratuities. And I don't mean just drinks. I mean the premier beverage package with tips included, uh, unlimited Wi-Fi with Medallionet, best at sea for sure, and the gratuities for the crew paid on your behalf. And so if you were to buy those three things, if you when you walked on board the ship, it would cost you $95 per person per day. But with Princess Plus, it's reduced down to only $40 per day, which is almost a 60% savings. So I think uh, these three things are amazing, but they're, we didn't just make these up like, well, we think these three will be popular. This is, these are the three most um, purchased amenities on a cruise. And so that's why we put them into the Princess Plus promotion. But I mentioned Best Sale Ever because this is our wave offer right now, but we're making it even better. So you get the Princess Plus perks, the drinks, the Wi-Fi, the gratuities, and you get a stateroom location upgrade, and you get a specialty dining for everybody in the cabin to enjoy one night of the cruise. So all that's available right now incredible value um it's up to 700 uh, sorry at least 700 dollars in value per seven day cruise that is included in the best sale ever it's available to everyone in the stateroom that's the beauty of princess plus you don't have to be in a nice cabin inside cabins all the way up to suites get the offer um third and fourth berth guests can take advantage of it as well it's on all of our cruises and cruise stores it's available now through march 2nd uh to book and it covers all destinations so I think that's amazing, but we're going to even make it more amazing as part of National Plan for Vacation Day, which is January 26th through the 29th. So coming up, we're going to reduce the deposits uh, during those four days for by 50%. So it keeps getting better and better. But if you've got clients that are on the hook, maybe book them in that window from the 26th to the 29th and get a reduced uh, deposit. Now, what's great about the Princess Plus, which is now best sell ever during our wave offer, is that not only is it more value for your clients, and I recommend to everybody that they take advantage of it because you don't want to spend more money on board than you need to. Just take advantage of it ahead of time. It's a commissionable fare. So it's more commission for you because everything's included and you get the commission on that total price. So I think that's pretty great. Now, not that I'm competitive or anything, but if you compare our wave offer, best sell ever, with other brands out there and what they're offering i think we're better maybe i'm a little biased but there's no hidden fees like i said the tips are included in the drinks it goes to every stateroom type you don't have to be in a certain stateroom to get it uh, it's simple it makes it easy for you to book through the promo code um, you get that premier beverage package not some a lower tier drink package and that unlimited wi-fi and it covers every stateroom category and everybody in the cabin again i'm a little biased but that's my personal feeling on it now we're wrapping up the presentation so for those of you falling asleep please jolt yourself we only got a couple more minutes to go and then hopefully i'll have some time to take some questions from you guys princess academy i like to say it's the best in the industry it's been around for a while but uh i hopefully you've taken advantage of it and the beauty of princess academy is that not only do you become an expert on princess but also on the destinations and you tend to sell better what you know and if you haven't had the chance to take a lot of cruises or any cruises with us you can become an expert through this training, which is done online. And when you become, uh, there's different tiers, but when you become Commodore, which is the highest ranking uh, member of the Academy, you get a free graduation cruise. So we're giving you a free cruise. Not many cruise lines do that. And when you do cruise with us, as long as you stay um, as certified a Commodore, so you refresh every year, which takes a few courses, you are considered elite level. So you get all the benefits of an elite level guest as part of Captain Circle. So there's other, other great benefits as well. There's even CLIA credits that you can take. And speaking of CLIA credits, now we just heard from our, our friends at CLIA that we have two modules that are out there. One is called the Princess Alaska Expert. And if you want to sell Alaska, I highly recommend you take these modules because you want to speak with some uh, knowledge about Alaska. You get a um, the three CEUs, the Continuing Education Units, from CLIA by completing Alaska Expert. You also get three CEUs by completing the Princess Sales Expert. Now, this was a training program we created, and you can see me and Charlie 
uh, my good friend Charlie, we created this program because we wanted to give some helpful tips on selling cruises. And so for those that are new to the industry or maybe you've been around for a while and you're looking for a, a fresh spin on how you connect with your clients, build those relationships, the Princess Sales Expert Program is there for you. But each of those, if you complete them, you get those three CEUs with Clea. So thank you so much uh, for everybody at Clea for giving us the, that honor. Now at Princess, we have the best military benefit in the industry. Once you get um, registered in our system, either US or Canadian, even Australia, British military, active duty, retired, um, anybody that has served that can validate uh, their service with us, they go on our system and they're always there up to $250 in onboard credit. And that varies based on the voyage length and available on any cruise, anytime. It's extra money for those great folks who have served to spend on board. It's near and dear to my heart as my dad was in the Navy. He retired as the captain of the Battleship Missouri. Uh, but so thanks to everybody that has served and it's our gift to you. So get a spa treatment, get some, buy something nice in the boutiques, whatever you want to do with that money. It is up to you. Now, recently we had National Bobblehead Day, and I hope you know, yes, in addition to my puppet, I forgot to introduce my puppet in the background. He had a rough night last night, so he's kind of sleeping one off, but that's my puppet. And I also have a bobblehead, and I'm hoping that he ends up in the bobble, that yes, there is a National Bobblehead Hall of Fame. And so I expect to be there momentarily. And with that, I will pause, I'll take a breath, and I'll answer any questions that have come in. Perfect. Thank you so much, John. We will get to these questions. I just want to say really quickly for everybody asking safety protocol questions about masks and social distancing and dining. As soon as we know anything, you will know. Yeah. Um, and for anybody asking individual questions about FCCs and bookings, um, I will invite you to reach out to your Princess BDM. And now we can get to these questions. We have a lot of people asking about the medallion class. Um, our first question is, do you have to wear it around your wrist? No, you don't. There's many ways you can wear it. You can wear it around your wrist. We provide a lanyard for everybody so you can wear it around your neck. You can buy a pendant. You can do kind of anything you want. It's really up to you how you want to, to wear it. You can keep it in your pocket. I actually find the signal is stronger if you have it kind of on your person rather than buried in a purse or something. Um, but you don't have to wear it in any particular way. It's just as long as you have it with you, um, you will get all the amazing service that the medallion class offers. Okay, perfect. Easy enough. Um, continuing on with medallion class questions, can anybody get a medallion class or is this a perk for repeat guests? No, it's for everybody. It really uh, replaces the cruise card. So imagine the old cruise card. Everybody now gets a medallion. Um, and so it is the standard offer. It doesn't matter. Uh, what cabin type you're in, or if you're even a third or fourth, but everybody gets a medallion. And I will say that, and maybe this is one of the questions coming up, Anna, is that people say, well, I don't want to use my smartphone on my cruise, or my clients are a bit leery of that. I'll say two things to that. Number one, that's fine. The beauty of medallion class is that it is um, built so flexible that you don't even need your phone to take advantage of it. Um, and I'll explain that in just a second. But if you want to just uh, keep in mind that people are often afraid of using their phone because maybe they've gotten burned in the past or they, they kept their, their uh, signal active and they were in a foreign country and they got roaming charges, here's my tip. Go on the ship, put your, put your phone in airplane mode, connect to the ship's local Wi-Fi. That is free. So all the services that connect via Wi-Fi um, to get on board, get access to all the different you know, venue availabilities, to make reservations for something, uh, free messaging, I didn't even mention that. You can message people that are on the ship uh, with you for free. Um, that is all free of charge. Once you start talking about browsing the internet, and if you if you purchase the best sell ever and you get the benefits of um, the free unlimited Wi-Fi, you can then FaceTime family at home, email, check news and sports, et cetera. That is part of that. Um, but if you, for whatever reason, are just don't want to have your phone, or maybe you don't even own a smartphone. Maybe you're one of those few people left on the planet who don't have a smartphone. The beauty of medallion class is that our crew know who you are and where you are because of the medallion. And so I'm um, grabbing my medallion here. Just by having this with you, the crew have an enhanced level of service they can deliver. And here's an example I like to give, although it's a bad example because it's going to get me in trouble. Um, you can be sitting on a lounge chair and the, imagine a captain walks by and the captain says, how are you today, sir? And you can say, you know, Captain, I'm having a great day. Thanks for asking, but I would love a rum and coke and a piece of pizza. The captain, theoretically, can go on his phone, 
order your rum and coke and your pizza for you, walk away and go do his job because he's got more important things to do. But now the crew know that you have ordered this and they will service uh, at that order and deliver it to you. And let's say you move lounge chairs or you move to a different pool, they will come and find you because that's what medallion class is all about. So please do not ask the captain for rum and cokes and pizza when you go on board the ships. I'm just telling you that any crew member, no matter what they do, have the ability to connect with you and know that it's you and say, hi, Mr. Chernesky, happy birthday today. That's great. I uh, hope you're having a wonderful day. What can I get you? That's what medallion class allows. Okay, perfect. We have a lot of people interested in the Princess Academy and I'm wondering if you can go back to that slide. Happy to. Here we go. So are there specific questions or want me to go through a little more of the details on it? Oh, you know what? Uh, no, I think they you want to go to this one. Perfect. Um, we just have some yeah, so excitement. Go to, um, get to Prince Academy by going to onesourcecruises.com. So that's our agent portal or advisor portal. And there's many features there, marketing materials, uh, various videos, news updates, and access to not only booking through Polar Online, which is so onesourcecruises.com is your gateway to get to Polar Online, but also to enter the Princess Academy. Um, it takes some time because a lot of, um, you know, we believe there's value in the time you spend investing in your education and awareness. Um, and so once you get that certification at Commodore, then all the perks kind of come your way. And for those of you that are already Commodore, they may have had a cruise booked in 2020 that had to be canceled. Just know we are going to make sure you are first in line to have access for the Commodore cruises once we put those um, out there. We haven't done that yet because uh, we're really waiting for things to settle down a little bit. But once we do, you'll have first crack at rebooking your trip. So just know you will get to take that trip with us and you will have first opportunity. Awesome, that is good to know. Our next question is from Deborah, who is wondering if you can speak to solo cabins and solo travelers. Yeah, so at Princess, we do not um, have a, uh, we, we allow certainly people to travel alone, but there is a double occupancy minimum. And so we do not currently have cabins either designated for singles or have a single only rate. Um, not to say we won't ever, and I would say, let's keep our eyes open for some, some of the new bills that we have coming out in the future. Maybe there's some good news to share there. Um, but right now we don't have, because um, I'm assuming the question is, do you have a single only cabin or a single rate? And unfortunately we don't. Not to say we won't or come up with some specials for that because we know that's popular and an emerging trend, but right now there is a single supplement basically where you end up paying for two people even though it might be uh, only you. Heck, reach out to me. Let me know if you want me to go on a cruise with you. I may be available. Maybe the wife will let me travel with you. You never know. Fingers crossed. Our next question is from Delana, who is wondering if Princess offers any marketing materials. Oh uh, yeah, if you go to onesourcecruises.com, um, you will see all the materials uh, that we have posted there. Um, and it's a just amazing ability to down, not only download flyers uh, or other uh, short videos that you can send to clients, but a lot of those flyers you can customize um, to send to your clients to personalize it to you and your agency. So it's all, it's all on onesourcecruises.com. Marketing material is very important. Got it. This next question is from Catherine, who is wondering if you think that Princess will extend the 60-day final payment versus the 90-day final payment for cruises in May and June. Yeah, right now we're, we're scheduled to switch back in May um, for the 90-day window. And uh, we actually hear you know, different sides of this where some people prefer the 90 day window. They want to give, um, you know, that back to the old way. And, and you competitively, a lot of lines are, are looking at the converting back um, to kind of the standard uh, windows, which is anywhere from uh, 90 to even 120 days. And so we at the moment are planning to revert back to that um, at the start of May. Okay, perfect. Um, this is a fun question from Suwada, who is wondering, did you say that Princess owns the train in Alaska? So we partner with uh, the Alaska Railway um, Group, which is a state-run uh, train, but the car itself, the ones that you're actually going to be on, so not the engine, but the train car, uh, yes, is actually owned and operated by Princess, as are the five lodges. We make sure it's to our standard, everything about it. Um, you know, the people that are on board are our employees. Uh, that are there to answer your questions and help uh, great 
great meal service on board as well as pointing out helpful tips and kind of giving you that uh, running narration as you go through to, to highlight the amazing scenery you're looking at. Okay. Um, Rachel is wondering if the Princess Plus is available for cruises longer than seven days. Longer than seven days, it is. Uh, it's. I think it's available on anything up to, I don't think it's available on world cruises um, and some of the long grand voyages that are like, you know, 100 and something days. Um, but the uh, voyage length, Princess Plus applies no matter whether you're going on a three-day trip or 14, 21-day trip. It's uh, definitely there. Highly recommended, not only for your commission, but it's just convenience that your people, you know, it's not inclusive because there are other things you can buy, but I like to say it's the most uh, all-inclusive uh, experience we can offer, and pretty much your main things are covered. So when you get on board, you don't have to worry about spending a lot of extra money. Okay, perfect. And this next question is from BB. I know you covered this. Can you go over when is the best time to see the Northern Lights? Well, it's very rare. I will just say that um, September is the one month where you, you may have a shot at seeing them. Typically, go, people go see the Northern Lights up in Alaska or Greenland or Northern Europe um, in like November, December, October, and Dece November, December, January. That's typically when you're going to get to see them. So to say September is certainly not a promise. And again, it is very rare. Uh, that picture I showed you was from May. So never say never, I think was the the point I was trying to make that the beauty of Alaska is its unpredictability and all the great things you might get to see. But um, our, our Alaska experts feel like if you really were going to pick a time to go on a cruise and you're hoping to see the Northern Lights, September would be the time for you. Okay, got it. This next question is from Marissa, who is wondering if the best sale ever extends through 2022 sailings if booked before March 2021. So best sale ever is available through March 2nd, I think is the date when the, when the sale expires. And it's for every cruise that we have published right now. So anything in 2022 you book, you will get the best sale ever. But take advantage of that option between now and March 2nd. But also don't forget January 26th to the 29th, National Plan of Your Vacation Day, you get that 50% reduced deposit. So um, it's a great deal outside of that. But if you want to put less money down, clearly that's the best time to book. Okay, great. This next question is from Marissa, who is wondering if you're finding with new updates like the medallion class, are you getting a more young clientele on your ships or Princess is still seeing more mature clients? Yeah, I think the age of the uh, cruiser on Princess really depends on the time of year and the destination and the length of the voyage, right? So those are the things that really dictate. When we see summer in Alaska, the average age really comes down a lot more families, first time cruisers, especially same for the Caribbean, Mexico, those kind of um, warmer weather cruises tend to have a younger clientele. Summer Europe actually um, can even be younger because tons of kids, I don't know about you, but I wasn't being taken on European cruises when I was growing up. Nonetheless, it's a very popular thing to do now. Uh, Medallion class itself has definitely reached out and, and uh, connected with people, I would say the millennial group who, are, who have grown up with technology and are kind of used to these things that are, they're expecting it. Uh, you show them a rotary phone, they're going to say, what, what is that? How do you even use it? Um, and Medallion Class really has helped cater to that audience. Um, I don't have any stats to share that, that validate that, but I just have heard anecdotally that we've definitely seen more interest, uh, picking up articles and different publications that are very tech-focused as well. Um, and that's the beauty of it, I think, that it appeals to not only younger folks who might expect this, but some older folks who may or may not go into it with open arms and say, oh, I want to try this. They might be a little hesitant at first. We see they come around to it because they have definitely, they get to experience just how great it is. And so that's been kind of one of the fun parts is to see older, older folks, me, I'm, I'm definitely, I consider myself an older folk, um, have gotten to experience it and really see the benefits of it. Okay, got it. We have just a few questions left. This one is from Beth, who is wondering if you know of any ships that have staterooms that hold five people for a family of five. We do. We have what we call family suites um, that are basically two staterooms that are connected through a shared sitting area. Um, and they are on, God, I want to say six of our ships. I think it's the Crown, Emerald, Ruby, um, and there's three more I'm probably forgetting. Maybe the Golden and the Star or the Grand. I can't remember now. But yes, we do have some ships that have 
uh, capacity to see or to accommodate five people. A limited number okay. though, so try and book them early if you can. Got it. And this is kind of an interesting question from Tammy, who is wondering if you are playing a virtual slot machine in your stateroom, does that use a real slot machine in the casino? How does that all work? So it's not connected necessarily to the machine. It's a separate app that has its own formula for how it operates and the gaming company that we partner with to develop and deliver that technology. So it's not um, connected to a real machine. It's a virtual machine, much like you'll see a lot of virtual uh, gaming that's out there. It's very similar to that, um, but it's all a controlled and contained on board the servers that are on board. Um, and so if you, again, the beauty of it is you don't have to stuff foot in a casino if you still want to gamble, uh, which I think is a pretty cool feature. Okay, easy enough. And our last question from Nicole is, can you please give us your Facebook page again? Yeah, and I, I just done a webinar for our good folks at um, IntelliTravel, so apologies if you don't work for IntelliTravel, uh, but you can check me out there. Uh, if you are with IntelliTravel, thanks for listening, and again, I appreciate your attention. Uh, if you go into Facebook and search for uh, Princess VP Sales, don't look for my name, because when they fire me, they want to keep the account going. Um, Princess VP Sales, please follow me there. I try and have some fun, uh, entertaining updates, and I look forward to growing my viewership. I just passed 20,000 followers uh, last week, so I was very excited about that. So please follow me on Facebook if you are not already. Congratulations on those followers. And that wraps up all of our questions. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us. And thank you, John, for all of that information. Thank you, Anna. Thanks, everyone at CLIA. Thank you so much for joining in today. Hope you find this interesting. Stay positive. We're going to get through this and looking forward to better days ahead. Take care, everyone. Bye. Thank you.